Hello and welcome to this top-down engine tutorial. I'm Renault from Mont Mountains and today we're going to talk about collisions in the context of the top-down engine. So the engines uh, top-down controllers, whether we're talking about the 2D or 3D versions, are built on Unity's foundations. The 2D one will pilot a rigid body 2D while the 3D version pilots a character controller. So for collisions, you'll need colliders set on your characters and also obstacles, ground, etc. So let's take a look at the character to start with. Uh, let's grab the, the, the suspenders guy over there and we see it has two colliders. Uh, one is a capsule collider, the other one is a character controller. So the capsule collider is this one, the one that's blinking, the character controller is the other one. Uh, the capsule col controller is set to its trigger and it's going to be used to detect trigger collisions. The other one, the capsule, the character controller, is used to uh, push elements, you know, push blocks, push doors. Um, it's used as a physics solid um, interaction detection. And that's the one we are actually going to be moving. And notice that the layer here is set on player. And that's really important because that's going to uh, play a good role in how we detect collisions. So the idea is pretty much the same for 2D. Let's let's open our Koala Dungeon scene, for example, and switch to 2D, and let's drag our Koala character inside the scene. So the the Koala character doesn't have a character controller, of course. Uh, it only has a rigid body 2D and a box collider 2D. See, uh, notice that it's also set on the player layer and our box collider 2D, we want to make sure that it's not uh, a trigger. And yeah, that, that's apart from that, both look pretty much the same. Um, if we look at our project settings, you'll see that if we go to physics and expand that, we have a bunch of layers quite a few actually and same goes for physics 2d you'll see that most of them are unchecked which means that for example moving platforms don't uh, interact physically with water or they don't interact with no pass finding and the engine really relies on these layers to identify certain objects uh, walls agents and these layers are metadata that you can associate to your game objects and then you can use these to uh, cast rays on certain layers only using layer masks, which are a selection of layers. And uh, it's really important to make a difference, especially in 2D, between layers and sorting layers. They're not the same thing. Um, the layer really means physics interactions, while the sorting layer is really for sprite renders and how things are displayed on screen. So uh, don't, don't confuse these two, we are talking about layers. Um, we have a bunch of uh, layers that are more you know important than, than others. Um, ground, for example, whether you are in 2D or 3D, this marks the colliders that will be considered as ground, you know, walkable surfaces by your characters. Uh, then we have obstacles, as the name implies, it's colliders that will stop your character from walking, running, etc. And they will also stop your bullets as well. Then we have moving platforms over there. While moving platforms are regular walkable surfaces, they will have the same properties they are indeed moving so we need a, a separate layer for that uh, we also have enemies over there enemies will put all colliders belonging uh, you'll have all your colliders belonging to enemies uh, whether it's like the body of the enemy or uh, their bullets they should go to enemies then we have holes uh, used only in 2d and the uh, hole will be marking colliders that you want your character to fall into. Uh, we also have falling platform, projectiles, player, we've seen it before, uh, obstacle doors in the 3D version that will be used, you know, uh, obstacle doors. They will be used to put certain safety areas around 3D doors and no pathfinding uh, as well is used to tell the pathfinding system in 3D that we don't want to go into certain zones. 
And while we're on the subject of uh, metadata, uh, you'll notice sometimes I've put tags on some objects, uh, like this one, you know, this player has a player tag. Uh, the engine doesn't really rely on tags at all, so uh, feel free to keep using them if you want. Uh, create your own. It, it really doesn't matter as far as, far as the, the engine is concerned, so that's one less thing to worry about. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.